Hey guys, welcome back. I am not naked. I do have on a tube top. It is just a million degrees in Florida, so it's tube top season as well as bun season. But I decided to clip in all this hair today because I don't know, I was just I was just feeling the long hair today. So quickly, this is going to be my April favorites, cause it's gonna be May. <laughs> that meme of Justin Timberlake last year killed me and at first I didn't get it I was like why is there a picture of Justin Timberlake saying it's gonna be May but it's from that it's gonna be May <laughs> this is going to be my April favorites I'm gonna go ahead and jump in because I need to meet my mama in like 30 minutes and she's waiting on me so the first thing I want to talk about is this cover FX anti-aging primer I bought this probably a month ago or so and I tried using it underneath my makeup and I really didn't love it underneath my makeup because you guys know I like more of a silicone fill-in kind of situation as you can see this is like a yellow I don't know if you can see it there let's try to squeeze it here as you can see you can't really see it, but it's like a yellowish, almost looks like a Vaseline-y to me, and it kind of has like a Vaseline feel to it as well. Now, I don't love it underneath my makeup, but I love it on days where I'm not wearing makeup and I just want to put something on my face, which sounds weird like when you don't wear makeup but you want to put something on your face, um, but I always like to have something on my face, like a primer, a moisturizer, something happening on my face. I just don't ever like it to just be nothing going on on there. So just because I don't like to wear underneath my makeup doesn't mean I don't like it on my face. This little guy is paraben, fragrance, gluten free, it's vegan, and I think it's talic free as well. I feel like I always say that wrong. And it also has a multi-peptide complex in it, which is great because it's going to help increase the collagen in your face. It's also going to help improve the clarity of your face. I just threw it down. And it's going to help reduce the appearance of fine lines. So like I said, I don't love it so much underneath my makeup, but I do love it by itself because it's kind of like a little spa treatment when you put it on your face and you're not really doing anything. So the next one is from Matrix. You guys remember this from my Ulta haul I did a couple days ago. Did I do it a couple days ago? This is the Break Fix. This is the Total Results Break Fix Leave-In Elixir, and it's to reconstruct and build super strong hair. And if you remember from the Ulta haul, I was saying that I didn't really love leave-ins because a lot of them weigh my hair down and stuff like that, and this one does not do any of that. I think it's perfect. It is an elixir, so I feel like it's a little more lightweight than a regular leave-in conditioner, which is great for me because I'm someone that when I put something in my hair, I want it to just absorb into my hair and do its job and not me feel any kind of residue left over and this doesn't do any of that and plus the smell is out of this world it smells like bubblegum and oranges is like the best way that I can describe it oh so good I feel no residue or anything when I'm blow drying which is perfection to me next is this little heated eyelash curler from Chella and a lot of you were curious what I was using in my get ready with me because I think I had like a one second clip in there where I was curling my lashes with it and it's just a heated eyelash curler so you turn it on like this Oh, I think mine died because usually a little green light turns on. Sometimes I forget to turn it off, so it probably just needs a new battery. But then this little guy just heats up, and it's best to curl your lashes after you... I got an itch. After you have mascara on. You just hold this little bad boy up against your lashes like this, hold it there for 10 seconds, and then you'll have a long... Oh, no, it is working. It's just my little green light isn't coming on. So you just hold it there and push it up against your lid to just kind of give them a little curl back. And then because it is heated, it's just going to help your curl last a little bit longer. I like to use this guy because sometimes the lashes that I have on are just too long and I can't like squeeze everything into an eyelash curler. So I just like to use this just to kind of lift them up a little bit so they're not like so straight down. So have been loving this little guy. I just noticed I don't have earrings on and I always have earrings on. Peculiar. So next I want to talk about a few nail polishes because clearly I've been obsessed with painting my nails like every single day this past couple weeks. There's too many like fun bright colors happening right now and I'm like I need them all on my nails. The color that I have on right now is from Salon Perfect and it's from their Neon Pop collection and this one is called Purple Pop. I love it. I love like a bright neon purple because I feel like they're just rare. Like usually it's like a dark purple so I love when there's like a neon fun purple pop color. And then my other two neons were from Oily and this one is called Mayhem Mentality which again is just a weird name for a nail polish and this one is called Skinny Dip. I love these guys. I am feeling the bright colored nail polish. Salon Perfect did come out with their Neon Pop collection and this is it right here so I just wanted to show you guys because Salon Perfect nail polishes are a lot cheaper than Oily nail polishes and you can find these guys at Walmart and I think I'm going to paint my nails this color next which my mom just got her toes done with me when we went to go get a pedicure and she got this color on her toes 
and I wish I had because it just looks so cute on your feet. They do have like this neon orange color which is called Copacabana Girl which seems like such a more proper name for an orange color like this than Mayhem Mentality. I just, I never remember it. But you can see there are two totally different orange colors and I am feeling this one. So, bright nail polishes for the win. And then my next favorite, which I feel like I've talked about it so much, but I keep seeing so many questions from you guys about it that I just feel like I just need to keep talking about it. This is that Sally Hansen Gel Shine 3 Top Coat. So many of you, first of all, have tweeted me pictures of you using it. I'm like, yes, because I just think it's so bomb. But I don't use it by itself, which I have mentioned in a video before. I do not use it by itself because even though it says it's supposed to dry fast, I don't think it dries fast at all. I don't even think it dries. But if you use it with the Such V Top Coat, which is this guy right here that you can find at Ulta, Target, Sally's Beauty Supply, you put this on and then you put this guy on top, boom, nails are dry, you're good to go, and it's just the best combination in the world. So essentially you are putting on two top coats, but this guy just makes your nail polish seem so thick and like you just got a gel manicure but he doesn't dry fast and then this guy dries super fast but he doesn't give you that like thick glossy shine that this guy does so these two together dream team you need them pause the video go to the store get them right now <laughs> that was like so aggressive right I was like ah ah this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and it is very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. And I talked about this in my haul, and I have been using it. This is in the color Burnett. This is what I have throughout my brows today. I do have a little bit of brow powder in there as well, but it's mainly just the pencil. When I talked about it in my haul video, I was concerned that it felt like it was going to be like a little rough and tuggy, but it's not. Like as soon as you start putting it on your lid, it just goes on smooth, and I love it. I don't know how much the Anastasia ones are. They're probably like 20 bucks, and then these are like. 10 bucks but someone said I got ripped off and these are like seven dollars so seven dollars Anastasia twenty dollars <laughs> this guy's just as good another favorite is also from NYX not intentionally but this is their matte liquid liner love 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 this this is the only liquid liner I have been using usually you guys if you're familiar with my channel know that I like to do a little double dip I like to use the Maybelline line stiletto and then use a more classic liquid liner like this to get that whip like that wing just short but I have just been using this because I just find this so easy to control maybe my liquid liner skills are getting better but I don't feel the need to use that line stiletto one anymore just because this is just perfection to me and it dries matte which I like so um, have been loving this little guy just wanted to mention him to you next is a little cheek highlight from girl lactic and this is in the color face glow natural and I wanted to give it a little mention because a lot of you tweet me and say oh the makeup forever compact shine on is just out I'm never gonna get it when's it gonna be back in stock and I'm like I don't know I don't work at Sephora so I wanted to give you guys a little alternative to it um, I think this one is really similar to the um, makeup forever one it's just the color is a little bit deeper it's not as white as the Makeup Forever one, but it is the highlight that I have on my cheeks today. If you can't get your hands on the Makeup Forever one, this one is really great as well because it's just not as gritty as like some highlighters that I come across that just seem like they have like glitter in them. These are just like iridescent -y powders that just like catch the light and are beautiful. So love this one. They do have a bronzer as well and I love the bronzer more in the summer months because it um, just has like a little bit of a glow to it, which just makes your face look Good. Random, I have one brush that I want to mention, and this is the Morphe M501 brush, and a lot of you are always curious what I use to contour my cheeks with, and this is what I've been using to contour my cheeks, because it has like this nice tapered point to it, which just for me fits perfectly right in these areas. If you find that you're having trouble doing something, you may be using a brush that's too big, so try taking it down a little bit. So, have been loving this guy, he just makes it so easy to get that contour short. And again, it is the Morphe 501. Next is this little Smashbox Photo Finishing Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I love this little fella. You know I'm about that primer life. So when I saw the under eye primer, I was like, okay, let's give this guy a little shot. And I really like him. It's nothing too heavy to put underneath your eyes. And I feel like I have dry under eyes in general. So if you don't feel like you have dry under eyes, you probably don't need it. But the more hydrated your under eye is, the less kind of creasing and cakiness will happen underneath there. This has been working wonders for me. It just settles really nicely into the skin and it doesn't feel greasy and I don't know I just really have been enjoying and I just 
I have just been really enjoying this little guy, so if you feel like you kind of have a little bit of a dry under eye, give this guy a try and see if it helps with your under eye concealer. Last but not least is this Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation from Smashbox. The name says it all. It is a powder foundation, but it's almost like a creamy powder foundation. Um, I didn't even know it said creamy on it until I just looked, but that's really what I think when I wear it because after you put this on your face, it doesn't look like you are wearing a powder on your face. It just looks like your face is just like like perfection. I don't prep my face when I usually wear a powder foundation. I don't put on my moisturizer or primer. I just slap on the powder foundation. And I like how this one sits on your face a little bit more than I like how the Laura Mercier one sits on your face. So you know I'm into powder foundations. Leave me powder foundation recommendations. Again, this is the Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. So that was it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me some of your favorites down below that you guys have been loving this month so I can check them out and see maybe if I'll like them for next month. And I also want to just say thank you for all the love that you guys have showed me on my just a regular week vlog. I was a little like I had that vlog ready for two days and I was like I don't know if I want to put this up. Is this boring? But it's nice to know that so many of you guys loved it and just are doing regular ass things like I am. So I will continue to vlog um, and then just kind of compile them together and throw them up on my channel and surprise you guys with them. So again I just want to say thanks for all the love that you showed on it. You guys make me feel so special. So that is it for this video. I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Ugh. Girl, pull this top up so people do not think we are just nude. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I feel so dilly. Sexy. Is this Cover XX? I'm wearing a tube top because it's so hot yet I have in 13 pounds of hair. Not cute. But I hate flan. <gasps> and it is in the photo photo. It's in the photo. This is the smash found Like I feel like my lips are stuck together.